Hey guys, Teacher Lauren here. Oh, we're a little crooked. I just finished teaching classes, so things are shifted <laughs> around. I wanted to give you an example of a reward system because VIP Kid does require that you have a reward system in your interview, regardless of which interview you sign up for. So to do that, everybody panics and they're like, what are you talking about a reward system? Well, on VIP Kid's site, when you teach classes, there's a row of five stars at the top of the screen. It's like a PowerPoint you have a video chatting session where it's you and the student video chatting, and then you can flip through the slides and do the activities. But at the top of every lesson, regardless of what you teach, there's five stars. And it's expected that every student gets five stars unless it's like horrible. I have had two students that have received four stars out of the whole year that I've been with them. The rest have always gotten five stars. It's just the rule of thumb. And it's expected. And there are teachers apparently out there that hand out all five stars at the beginning of the class. Please quit doing that. The kids don't think that they are, they're supposed to get motivated by these. It's not supposed to be like, here you go. Okay, let's focus on class. It's And I get that. But it's really meant to motivate them. That's why we do all this crazy fun stuff <laughs> is to keep them motivated and learning. So something I wanted to share with you is that if you do sign up under my referral link and referral code, I always send a free reward system to my my referrals, <laughs> to my friends, to whoever signs up with me, that they can easily download, print out, and use. And it's something that comes from like the Facebook pages that I'm a part of that they've created that I use for every age, every level. But let's say you're not one of my referrals and you're like, I'm looking for ideas for a new reward system. Or let's just say you've already applied, but you're like, I just need an idea. Boom. Dollar Tree, you guys. Has large numbers on it, so I typically save it for my upper level students. But I can use it for the lower level and teach them a new number they don't know yet. Um, typically, they know up to like 12, some just to 10, and then I can start expanding to that. But either way you could use this or they have the large dice which I do have the large dice but I'm in the process of redoing my classroom <laughs> so that large dice could be anywhere but if you use the large dice from Dollar Tree I just throw it have a little t-chart teacher loin student and then I get a number, they get a number, and we practice greater than, less than, equal to, but they get a star regardless, but they love that competition against the teacher. Some students will draw a tic-tac-toe board and start playing tic-tac-toe with you. That's fine. Just don't make, let it take forever. Parents are not paying for us to play games with them. They're paying for us to teach them English. So I try to use it as an opportunity to draw English out of them and get some rapport built with the student. But this is an easy game. It comes with two balls. One of mine took off during class, so I'm I'm sorry, I'm only going to be able to show you this one. But basically, I hold this up and I go, oh, you get a number, I get a number. Whoever has the greater number wins. And then what I do is I go, okay, here we go. What did you get? Oh, 80 or whatever number it's on. And then I draw for me and then I draw one for them. And then we compare the numbers and they love it. I just had a new student tonight and he was like, because <laughs> he was being shy, but he could not contain the excitement. <laughs> and then when we got ready to leave and I was going to say goodbye, you could see he was like, okay. And I said, oh, one more for the road. And he was like, <laughs> so, definitely a good idea. Cheap idea from Dollar Tree. You don't have to print. You don't have to laminate. It's done. Just maybe contain the ball. Because <laughs> like I said, I'm going to have to go on a hunt for my dice and my ball. They all just took off. <laughs> But that's what happens when you have fun. So make sure if you've not applied yet, you check out my referral link and referral code below. And watch for the resources that I send you. Because let me tell you, I don't leave you hanging. <laughs> also, if you decide to apply, make sure you check out my other videos. I have tons of videos to help you with getting set up, organized, back-to-back -back classes, the whole shebang. <laughs> I am going to post a new back-to-back -back class setup because I have changed my system completely. But there is a system for you if you don't have very many certifications and you're just starting out and need just something that makes you feel secure. That one will work for you. And But the new one is going to be something if you're established and you're doing a lot of certifications and so many different classes and many props that you need something that's simplified. I'm starting a whole new system over here beside me. I'm not finished yet, but when I'm finished, there will be a new how to set up for back-to-back -back classes video for that style of teaching. So... 
make sure you subscribe because I don't want you to miss that in case it might work for you. Definitely hang out and find that out. <laughs> and I hope everybody has a lovely evening. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>